Hey guys, in this tutorial, I will show you how to make this cool dark orb effect. It's very easy to make and I will make it from scratch. Everything, each and every emitter, every material. So you will learn everything from this tutorial. So let's dive in. Let's start this. So first I need to make a material for the ring. So I'll just make this M ring. And I'll actually make this ring around the sphere, but I will suggest you, I, can, I will recommend you don't use the sphere because you will use some un unnecessary vertexes because we need just a ring around here. So just take that part of mesh when you're using this in game, but I don't have that mesh. So I'm just showing you this on sphere. You can just delete the sphere from top and bottom. Just keep it from the center, just a ring. So basically what, you, what I'll do, just make this mask and two-sided. Then I'll take texture coordinate and let me just make some space here. Save C for the mask and I'll take the green channel. If I preview, this will make top black and then bottom white. Then you can just subtract 0.5. So this will be half black, half white, but this black is not zero. This is negative. So now I'll use the absolute value that will make the negative positive. So it will be white from both sides and center will be black. Now you can invert this and make this uh, take the power to control the width or because we need uh, like 20. We need very sharp, we don't need this fadeness. So I'll just delete this and take this step node. Just connect this. Let me check values. At point nine is full, at point one, it's like this. And we need, I think this much. So this is what I was talking. So you can just delete the black part in your mesh. Just take this much of the ring then you can play with that okay so don't use mesh when you are using it for the game i'm just showing you how to do that okay so now you have this and you have this step which is the thickness so i'll just take the dynamic parameter and i'll call this thickness 0.02 i think thickness second thing i want to distort it uh this i don't want this very straight so i'll just take a noise texture or you can use noise if you want this noise you can also use that so let's use this so if i preview this this is or just take the noise texture so it will be better for you to understand so let's say i use noise let me find a cool noise maybe this one yeah we can go with this or let me just search here we will use this one this is very basic noise okay so we will use this one yeah so basically if you multiply this noise and then add it to the uvs of that ring and this multiply will control how much distortion you want Right now it's one, so it will destroy it completely. Zero means no distortion, it will be like the same. So now we can control how much we want the distortion. And we will also control the tiling of this. So I'll make two parameters, run it for tile. So we will control the tile and this is distortion. So now we will call it tile and distort. Okay. I'll make the distort value zero for now. Now we will use it in the mask so it will cut that through. Now we need some information here like a normal map or something. So if I search, I have already normal map like this. This is noise normal map. So we can use that. So I'll use that here and multiply, uh, not multiply. Just take the flatter normal and connect this here we will use this to make the tile of my normal so we can rename this as normal tile 
and then we need one more dynamic parameter copy paste this and make the parameter index one then we can reset the name so it will be different from the first one and this will be normal flatness so we can increase or decrease or maybe make a, make that random so i think that's it the last thing i'll take particle color for here i don't need it for the emissive i think so let me just save this so it's saving and i'll again remind you don't use the full sphere we don't need that we just need this much okay so now i'll just go to nigra and ns org here we need a menu emitter then let's say i emit some particles maybe 10 and i spawn it once then make the life infinite by unchecking it okay now we need instead of sprite we need mesh and it should be sphere so let me just find one i have lots of spheres so i will just use this one basic one so we have this sphere now i will override the material and we just need this here let it update let me save all okay so we have this actually these are 10 rings that overlapping so first thing what i'll do you can just make initial mesh orientation by default it will take random so now you can see all these 10 then you can play with size little bit so if i use uniform random just use 1 and 0.8 don't randomize too much 0.9 okay the next thing i'll make it is i'll just make the not this color so I'll make this maybe grayish and then I can go with the randomization like I will make some really dark okay let me save then the next thing is we can add our dynamic parameter which has lots of parameter like thickness which is 0 0.02 then we have tile 1 distort oh miss spelling is a mistake but it's okay is zero the normal tile i'll put it one now if i increase the distortion you can see and i will randomize it so maybe i'll use 0 0.1 and minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 then we have this tile of distortion if this is 10 you can see the distortion 20 actually at one it is look like this and at point at two this is how it looks so i will play with like one and two okay we have this now the normals i need to turn this on flatness we can increase or decrease this if i make it negative there will be more normal and let make this local and i can drag it here is small so i'll just increase the size maybe 10 and 9.99 just i'm just increasing it 10 times. oh it's too big and maybe 4 and 3.99 yeah it's enough it's still big but it's okay now you can put a light inside you can use that in the particle also so if i put a light and i'll make this maybe red or maybe 50 we can put it inside it change the attenuation so it will be red just from the inside okay cool and i think you can also add one more light add here
delete it from here I will adjust the normal little bit I don't need that much maybe just this much okay and the thickness you can also randomize so basically thickness is 0 0.02 you can go random 0 0.01 0 0.02 cool and I think I will make I will duplicate this actually and in this one I will make 0 0.01 and 0 0.005 so we will have some this flickering issue I don't know why okay so it looks already very cool just I need to add some glow kind of thing inside so I'll just put it very simple just take the emitter take this fountain you can just delete velocities and just add size and just scale it like that maybe 50 and maybe 10 and if I play maybe just 10 20 it will scale like that then you can make this low and then I'll just make this local duplicate this paste this in this one I'll make the size bigger maybe 20 or maybe 30 a little bit more reddish so it will have glow to kind of glow looks cool I don't know if you like it but I really liked it then I'll copy and paste this one more time and this time I will actually use a sphere location and then I need just hit on the edge and if I now see I want the sphere radius to match it like this and then I need velocity from the point and then I will add velocity line I will stretch the size here maybe like this 2 and 0.1 and velocity will be a little higher and life maybe 1 and 0.2 like that still very big but and size will go down for this these looks cool I really liked it simple but looks nice i hope you liked it thanks for watching keep learning and bye bye